In this video, we're going to look at how Huckle theory can be used to try to predict the aromaticity and the energy of aromaticity in benzene. Okay, so benzene we have here, C6H6, uh, circular six-membered aromatic ring, conjugated all the way around, six carbon atoms, each contributing one PZ orbital and one electron to the pi system six electrons total so there's going to be three occupied pi orbitals so three will be occupied three will be virtual and our wave function is going to be a linear combination of the two pz orbitals on each of the carbon atoms for each of those six uh, pi orbitals so in order to use huckel theory to get the energies of these orbitals we need to build out our complete uh, secular determinant so for the diagonal elements, H11 is going to be alpha. So we're going to have alpha minus E. H22 is alpha. Anytime I equals J, you just have the value alpha, giving us a reference for the zero of energy, the scale for the energy of a P orbital by itself. So we're going to do that building all the way down the diagonal. And this will be true all the way down our diagonal for every system to which we apply Huckel theory for these planar hydrocarbons. Okay, now we need betas wherever we have adjacent atoms. So one and two are adjacent. There's a beta, there's a beta. We have uh, two and three are adjacent. There's a beta, there's a beta. Three and four, so H34 and H43. Uh, four and five, and five and six. <clears throat> okay, so we would see that these are all, if, we, if it weren't for these coupling elements here, we would see this as three independent uh, ethylene systems. These would be, these kind of sub-determinants are the determinant for ethylene as we go down the diagonal here. But we have extra coupling elements where between two and three and between four and five, we have these coupling elements making it a conjugated pi system. But there's one more surprise. So this would be the complete secular determinant and the rest would be zeros. Uh, if this were, for example, one, three, five hexatriene, but the extra benefit we get having a circle it, giving this aromaticity is there is now an extra coupling element and that's six and one are located adjacent as well. So in an aromatic, we also get this little element in the corner where H16 and H61. So there's an extra surprise beta. And then all the other carbon atoms are non-adjacent. So we fill out the rest with zeros. We do that, fill out all the zeros going down the rows here. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so now all we've got to do is solve this 6 by 6 determinant here, which is generally a very non-trivial act, usually requires the assistance of some mathematical computer program. But because this one is so greatly simplified, it just so happens that you luck out. And if you do as we did before, where you define the x, the value of x, which we define as alpha minus e, over beta x the roots for all of these systems so for energy gives us plus or minus one plus or minus one and plus or minus two so what this means for our energies is our energies of these orbitals are alpha minus two beta alpha minus beta alpha minus beta alpha plus beta alpha plus beta and alpha plus two beta so let me draw that out in graphical form. So we're going to have our zero in energy. It's going to be defined by alpha. So if I say alpha right there, then let's have our different shelves where all of our energy levels are going to be. Okay, so this is alpha plus beta, alpha plus two beta, alpha minus beta, 
and alpha minus 2 beta. Okay, so six electrons, alpha bow principle, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how we fill up our orbitals from bottom to top. Okay, so these are all of our occupieds and their energy. We have the ground, the lowest energy orbital at alpha plus two beta. Then there's a doubly degenerate, uh, doubly occupied orbital there at alpha plus beta, doubly degenerate antibinding orbital at alpha minus beta, and a singly degenerate antibinding orbital at alpha minus two beta. Okay, so now the question is, what is the effect of aromaticity? What is the energy of this system relative to if it were three isolated uh, ethylene or ethene systems? For example, if we took this, these betas, these betas, and those betas, all those coupling elements make the, that makes the system conjugated and aromatic, and we set those to zero. Okay, so energy of our pi systems, so E pi of ethylene, as we saw from previous videos, is 2 alpha plus 2 beta, doubly occupied orbital at alpha plus beta, and E pi of benzene is going to equal 2 times alpha plus 2 beta, doubly occupied orbital down here, plus 4, two doubly occupied orbitals at alpha plus beta, means that is going to equal 2 times alpha plus 4 times alpha is 6 alpha, plus 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 times 1 is 8 beta. So the resonance energy, or the aromatic energy, so E of aromaticity of benzene, which we're going to define as the pi energy of benzene minus 3 times the pi energy of ethylene of C2H4. So we're going to have, if we take 6 alpha plus 6, 6 alpha plus 8 beta minus 3 times 2 alpha plus 2 beta, that'll be 6 alpha plus 6 beta minus 6 alpha minus 6 beta. So the 6 alphas are going to cancel. 8 beta minus 6 beta is going to leave us left over with 2 beta. So the E of aromaticity, if I write it out fully, for benzene is equal to 2 beta. And we know from the previous videos that we mentioned that empirically beta is determined to be right around minus 75 kilojoules per mole. So 2 times that is minus 150 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so that is the stabilization energy beyond a typical isolated pi system that benzene gets for being aromatic as predicted by Huckel theory. So 150 kilojoules, that's quite a lot of energy. That's about, you know, a, depending on how, how things go, that could be a full sigma bond, that could be sigma bond and a half, or some portion of, of a stronger sigma bond, but that's a very non-trivial amount of energy. So the energy stabilization you get from aromaticity, from this extra coupling, from these pi systems being conjugated and aromatic is is quite a lot. So this is part of the predictive power of Huckel theory is that it does predict things like this, like you get a stabilization for having conjugated pi systems and you have an extra heavy stabilization for having an aromatic system like this.